In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of our more fun tools, the vision board tool. It's a visual brainstorming that, tool that's very collaborative. So we're gonna go into one of our events uh, right here, and then we're gonna scroll down on the tools uh, list to click on the vision board. Um, our vision board is empty, so we're gonna upload some images. Um, we're gonna select these from our computer, and I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload five, these five images first. And just to let you know, the maximum file size for images is 2.55 megabytes. So if your image is larger, um, you may need to shrink it down before you upload it. I'm gonna upload five more. There we go. And there's all our images. And if you wanna view an image larger, just scroll over it and click on the magnifying glass and it'll, it'll blow it up. You can also link images from uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. So I'm gonna pull an image off of my Google uh, images, and I'm gonna add it also right here. So you can um, pull images from those three other places and add them here. We're also gonna add some categories here that we can um, assign our images to. So I'm gonna have a decor theme, and a venues category that I can add images to. Um, you can go into each image and click on the actions button to select the size. So uh, small, medium, or large, there's the large. Um, you can also uh, atta attach or assign a category to an image. There's the category. You can add a title and a description to an image and that will display with the image. And users can come in here and post comments on the image. And this is where the tool becomes collaborative because you and all of your team members or clients can add comments and then send each other emails. And you can send anyone an email who is, has been assigned to the event. You can also download or delete the image right here. And like I mentioned earlier, if you roll over an image and click on the magnifying glass icon, you can view an enlarged version of that image. So now we're going to take a look at, uh, if you click on the heart above each image, you can just mark them as favorites. Um, you can also use the check boxes next on each image. So we're gonna click on the check boxes on these items. It will pull up an available actions menu here in the right hand side you can um, move multiple images to a category in bulk that way and if i click on the venues category here are all the images i added to that category you can also check on multiple items to change the size for multiple items we're going to change the size of those two items to medium and you can also delete things in bulk this way too click on show all goes back to the main screen to show everything. Um, now we're going to take a look at a vision board for another event that I've built out even more. Um, so you can see here, I've got five different categories. I've added lots of comments and descriptions to these, these items, um, chain, giving them different types of sizes. Um, it's a very colorful, large uh, vision board. And if I click on, say, the food category, here's all the food items or all the floral images or all the landscape images that I've added here, as well as decor and themes. There's two ways you can view this stuff besides right here. You can actually copy and paste and email that share URL to someone if you only want them to be able to view the image board and not be able to make edits to anything. So that's a great way to show somebody the, the vision board to email them that URL. You can also download a PDF of the images in the vision board right here. You can also utilize templates. So if you can import a, a template into the vision board or you can save this vision board as a template by clicking right there. We're gonna to go to the templates area and we're going to click on Vision Board Templates. Templates, to add a template on the fly, you can do it right there. I'm gonna click into one of mine. Um, you can add categories to a Vision Board template. You can also add images either um, through other services like Dropbox or whatever, or upload them. And you can also um, take advantage of the actions box to uh, add descriptions and whatnot. Um, and then if you go into the vision board inside of an event, 
you can go to that import template into vision board, select the template, and once you click on the save button, all the categories and images from that template will be pulled into this vision board. That's how you can use the vision board for visual brainstorming for your events, um, but let us know if you have additional questions.